Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Add to Cart button to add your product in a bag. After adding to the bag, you can go to the checkout and using Stripe, we will do the checkout, but not in this video, in the future video. So in this video, I will add a mini cart, like a bag, to have a collection of product you are adding. And we will store that in the VUX and in the checkout, we will do just, we will pass all the product to the checkout and then we do the payment. So uh, let's start. Before I start, you know this is the product list I have recently in the GitHub. I added the Firebase.js file here and it is storing all my credentials. I forgot to delete those in information, but I don't know someone have used those information and they have added some extra product here. Now, I'm not mad at the person who did this. They are testing. Firebase is free. You can create your own and it will not cost anything from you. But the thing is, they deleted all of those products I have created and they have added them like I have spent it like at least 40 hours 40 not 40 hours like 40 minutes to create those um, product like citizen watches every product has like three slider and it was nice and it has like fixed pricing but currently I have this information and please do not do that one because I am going to delete this one and you cannot do that in, but in future videos or in future for anyone who is teaching you do not do that one because it will save a lot of time for me if I am going to record and instead of, uh, instead of adding those information I can record another video. So this is what it has been done but I am not going to redo it now but I will do the behind the scene. I will remove them and I will create a new product. So for now I will show you how you can add to the card and show you they were in your card details in a mini card. So let's start. There is two ways to do this one. If you click on the add to card, it should show a mini card. Either it is in the right hand side of your application. You have seen this one in any e-commerce website. You have a mini card that it will instantly show your product in the card. So I'm going to use the bootstrap model. So if I scroll up a little bit in the bootstrap model section here, here are some of the examples. So I will use this one. It is the basic one. So I will copy this code and I will come to my application. I will add it to the home page. You can add it anywhere in your application. I don't know. You can create a separate component. That is uh, the ideal way of doing it. But for now, I will put it here. And in the future video, I will refactor it or maybe we do. So I will save it for now. And let's do a little customization. I will give it uh, my back is the title and there is some dots here and instead of save changes uh, this is at the bottom at the footer of the model so it it should be like a checkout button which looks like that and instead of close I'm going to say continue shopping so some, someone should continue shopping add more product to the cart something like that so here is uh, the ID for that one and how you can show this model if you scroll down to the javascript section here via javascript this is how you can do that one you can select your uh, your model window and you can pass the options here the option can be show it can be hide it can be toggle something like that here is the example show hide toggle so this is what we want for now the show one so what you can give an id i will just give it a mini cart name here so this is going to be the mini cart which is stored our cart or the bag information. And I will come to add to cart here. This is our add to cart button. In every product we have it. If someone click on this one, I just want to show the model. How you can do that one? Here is the magic. You will just say mini cart dot show. That's it. It should show the mini cart. Currently that is empty. It should not show anything inside it. But if I come to my application, if I add something to the cart, you can see this is my bag, but this is empty. Now I can send all of those information we have in the state of our application. You can see we set up our VUX in the previous video. We add something to the cart and it save it like uh, temporarily here in our view state. So now you can store this and you can grab this information and it's displayed here. And I will close it for now, like continue shopping. You know, I don't have proper product for now. So it will be something worse if I add a product which does not have any image. For now, we have one which has the image. I will use this one. So let's see how you can do this one. You add to the cart, 
it should display those information to the card too so how you are going to read those data from view x you know if i come to my application i will just explain again here is the store here and in the store we have a state and inside the state we have an array of the card so currently if you are adding the product to the card it will be stored as an array here now how you can read this one and display it in your model here how you can read it i will show you there is two way you can read this one so if i come to the documentation of vuex you can see we have something called getters you don't have to use getters unless you you need it what is getters getters is like computed property in vue.js in vuex you have getters you know this is the computer property they give the same example but in vuex they have getters what getters do if you are taking your information you are manipulating you are changing something and then you are returning use getters otherwise just directly you can you can directly access your data so let's see how you can access your data here and display it so i will scroll down uh, so here is where we are going to display those information for now i will just use this ul li just for example it should be li and i'm using the v4 here and i will show you some debugging technique also so i will throw some error here and i will show you where you can find the the valuable plus to see this error so i will say item and you are going to say this how you can access the information in your card here is how you do that one you can say this dot dollar sign is store and then dot is state dot card so if i save it for now before i check out my data this is how it is working it is going to see this dollar sign is store where is dollar sign is store is store is the the name uh, we put in our app in our main.js if i scroll down here have you seen this store this is going to refer to this store and you can access it using dollar sign store where this store come this store comes from the import of store.js so whatever name you put here and here it can be anything you can refer to that as dollar sign store here and uh, dollar sign store dot state which is going to be the state in our application if i check it again here is the state dot card here so if i come to my code here uh, my application you can see you you have an we have an error so the best way to find the error where it is going to explain you the nice way you know here are some explanation explanation here so error compiling template and vue.js if you want to see a proper uh, place for error handling and the error description just scroll down a little bit at the bottom this is where it is going to give you a clear uh message for your error it says invalid v4 expression item uh whatever written here so if you can see it is invalid expression it means there is something wrong with our v4 see so if i come here i am missing something it should be item in this so if i save it for now again coming to our application everything is working fine and if i refresh my state here we don't have anything in our state also it should be gone so yeah it should be empty now so now let's see how it is going to display those information for now we have item here what i'm going to say is i'm going to display the item dot product name here it should display the product name at least when we add it so let's see if it is displaying it or not and before i do that one where the product name come from you might ask if you have not watched the previous video you know when you add it to the cart it is going to add this item to the card here and you will have access to the product name product price as well as the id here so if i come to my application this time i am going to add to the card it will display those card information here nicely and cleanly and if i close it i will add some banana which is so many banana it will add that at the bottom and if i add some abc oh my god it is when it's so expensive so i will add it to the card anyway and it will add it here and in the same way you access this one you can access the price the image everything you have here the image no you don't have access to the image because you didn't store the image 
this is what this is missing so I will do that behind the scene and this is basically how you can take those information and display here um, behind the scene I am going to create a clean way of doing this I will remove all of the extra product I will add them again so I hope it has been informative for you thank you for watching and thanks for those who understand the way I am teaching and trust me if I do not show you the error you will never never become a good uh, like programmer this is this is uh, this is something I always say you become great by solving the qua the the, uh, the unqualified problems uh, if you can solve them you will become great and that is like how you become great the more problem you solve the better you become so I hope it has been informative and I will see you in the next video